hi you guys we are back again with another tutorial today i'll be doing a lace bob we are going to begin by applying our 4x4 lace closure y'all already know how to apply the base and start these wigs if you don't know you can go to any of my other tutorials and watch the video on how i get started putting these caps on right here all i'm doing is aligning the closure where i want it to be and you have to understand and use your imagination when you are doing this imagine you are working on a client and this is the side of their head so you have to locate where where you think their ear is going to be so that you can lay it down so that it aligns whenever they are doing this but whenever i do a client usually you have to have the stocking cap the new cap underneath but you don't have that so you really have to use your imagination whenever you're doing this now i'm going to use my needle and thread and i'm going to begin sewing down the lace closure to the cap and all i'm doing is starting in the middle this way you can prevent your lace closure from bulking and bending and you know putting any type of humps and bumps in it to prevent it this is what you'll do you'll start in the middle and you can use a crop clip if you want to hold the hair down but all i do is sew down and then I'll go to the other side and slow and sew that one down as well. Please be sure that you are, if you are enjoying the content that I bring to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And now you will do the same exact thing on the other side. Whatever you did to the other side, you would do to this one as well so all you're going to do is make sure that you sew and when you're stitching put the stitches a little bit close together or you can stitch it however you feel is more comfortable for you but if you put too much space in between the stitches it will buckle after you sew down your closure you're going to take your comb and you're going to make parts throughout the closure just to see that it is flat and laying tight so all you have to do is take your comb comb it through and i like to have my closure wet so that i can see the um, how the direction that the hair is laying Now I'm going to begin laying down the tracks in the back and I'm going to be using various um, types of hair only because I'm using hair that's already in the salon. But typically if you are going to do this style or if you plan to try it, you'll do two packs of 10 inch and then you will have one pack of 12 inch. And you can use any type of hair that you want to because it's only a bob but you do want to have good quality hair. But for this, I'm only going to be using hair that I'm piecing together just so I can show y'all this demo. Now I'm going to begin laying down my longer tracks and I will be doubling the tracks on the side only for the thickness. So for your 12 inch, this is where you will lay your 12 inch here.
now all you're going to do is connect the tracks to the lace closure so all you're going to do is go from side to side So the silver pins that you see in the back, I only put them there because I wanted to tighten the cap so that it fits nice and snug. But all you're going to do whenever you are laying the tracks, you will go below them and then you will go on top of them, not directly on top of them where you can't get the pins out after you finish your wig, but you will go directly underneath like you see me doing. Now I am sealing off my last track um, so that I can begin laying the tracks going towards the front of the head but in the event that when you do this you will go use all of your 12 inch on this but like i said i'm only using the hair that i have in the salon at this moment so just lay all of your 12 inch on that one long side then you will revert and do your 10 inch laying towards the face now y'all already know how i feel about this lime green i had to put me a pop of color in there and of course you know i had to do this lovely lime green and all I, I used was the Adore electric green to dye the, the color on top of 613. As you're laying the tracks down, make sure that you get as close to the lace closure as possible because you don't want it to have a gap. I am now done putting in the color that I want. Now I'm going to go ahead and start laying the black down again. And I'm slightly curving it just so that it flows into the rest of the hair on that long side. But you can use whatever color you want, however many colors as you want. You can even go longer hair, shorter hair. It's completely up to you how you want to do this. But in the bang area, you don't want it too long. And honestly, for me, the bank is a little too long, but you know, I'm just doing this um, for you guys doing this tutorial. So this is the top view of how I'm laying down my tracks. You can see I'm going in a circle well a semi-circle and all i'm doing is making sure that it follows the curvature of how the lace closure is laying you can see on the edge the back portion is rounded so you want the tracks to lay just like that and you're going to continue tracking your bang and i am doubling some of the tracks as well only for the thickness but you are going to go back as far as you can but as you know as you are going back, you are going to be curving at the same time. As you get closer to finishing this, your tracks will get smaller and you will have to squeeze in as much tracks as possible. So all you're going to do is stay as close to the edge of the closure as you can. Now that we are done laying down all the tracks, we are now ready to comb out this lace closure and begin laying down where we are going to place our parting. So you are going to make your part wherever you desire it to be, but you want to leave part out enough hair to cover the tracks. And again, if you, if you have sewn, sewn your closure down the way it needs to be, the closure should not have any buckles, no bumps, no lumps. You should be able to part that closure and it look like scalp. Right now I'm going in with my Aunt Jackie's Frizz Patrol. 
and this foam wrap lotion is so good it's very very concentrated you don't need a lot to do what you got to do but it will kill the frizz and lay it down like it really smooths the hair out so you can get this from any local beauty supply store it'll, it'll only run you around about nine to ten dollars but it will not be something you will regret i love this foam wrap lotion it does its job so now i'm going to continue to put the part where i want it to be you want it to be very very clean right here i am going in to make my second parting this part is going to cover the tracks in the back and this is very very important whenever you're doing this make sure that you make a clean parting so that it doesn't look awkward and out of place and you have to be careful as well because you will lift your tracks if you comb too hard or you know because the tracks the way that you lay the tracks in the back you have to make sure that you do not comb too hard and lift your tracks now i am going to go in with my razor and i'm going to shave down the side but i'm if you look carefully i'm cutting at a 90 degree you will pull that hair straight out even though it's going to be a little bit long you always can go back later but when you work with a closure it's best to have more hair than not enough hair because if you cut too much off you cannot get it back so leave enough hair on there just in case so then all you're going to do now is just mow the hair down and all you're going to do is take your foam wrap lotion and comb it through again don't worry about if the hair is too long there's not an ear right there but if you had a client you would go ahead if, if this was a client you would the mold down process would be different you wouldn't have this extra lace in the front because you would have already cut that off so since this is a wig you will not cut that off right now until the client gets a install for the unit so it doesn't matter if you have more hair hanging down you want this so that you do not cut too much hair off after you have molded it down you will put it under the dryer and you need to make sure that the hair completely dries before you begin cutting the shade side and all i'm doing is smoothing down the frizz on the rest of the hair so that it can lay down really really nice and sleek now you're going to use your black wrapping paper to tie this down and put it underneath the dryer So now you're going to begin combing this out and if you use too much of the Aunt Jackie's Frizz Patrol, it will be a little bit tough to comb through but all you're going to do is just put like a light sheen or a serum on top of it and then you can pretty much see where you're going with this. So now I will take my trimmers and this is not my favorite trimmer y'all already know that I'm just using this temporarily but this is what you will use to put your design in the hair, take your time. You don't want to cut off too much hair you want to start further up because if you go too far down you will end up cutting off your sideburns and i will leave this in real time just so that you guys can see take your time and do this so that you don't cut off too much hair after you make a line comb it out just to see how much hair is coming out of the lace closure but do not do too much cutting because you will put in a bald spot if you do so just comb it out just to see where you're going
okay so right here i'm going to go in with my hot comb and all i'm going to do is flatten out some of the hair because you have molded this down with foam wrap lotion it's going to lay flat but even in some areas they're thicker than the other so if you find that it doesn't lay the way that you want to you can tweeze out some of the hair because it may be just because it's too thick but you're going to flat flatten out the back hair over those tracks so that that lays flat as well now i'll go in and spray my bed head hard head and you can get this out of any of your tj maxx stores or marshall's and all i want to do is just spray this on top just so that i can slick it down even more then i'll use a fine bristle brush to kind of lay it down and you can always go back and clean this up and like i said you can go back and clean this up all i'm doing is kind of taking off the hairs that may be a little bit too long that that came out whenever you were brushing and detailing it but this is going to clean it up even more So all I do now is I get my cream makeup and you can use whatever color is the, the skin tone color, the scalp color. This is what's really going to make it pop the most. This is how you get that clean line. You'll just go in and detail it with your makeup or you can use concealer, whichever one that's going to match. I'm just using this color. You can get it out of your beauty supply store. And this is like the duo side by side. And I'm using this to go in and make the line sharp and detail it. So if you do an install, it will definitely pop. So don't use a color too light because once you put a new cap underneath it, it's going to stand out even more. I did go in and add another line just to kind of, you know, I was curious just to see how it'll look. Most of the time when I'm doing these designs, I pretty much make it up as I go. Now I'm going to go in and do a blunt cut on this bob. I want the back to be shorter, then kind of gradually get longer as it goes towards the, the front of the face. And I'm going to use my trimmers to do this because I don't really want to use scissors because it, it have a different look to it when you use trimmers and when you use scissors. So if you see any scraggly hairs, all you have to do is just go in and trim them off with your trimmers. And all I'm doing is I'm prepping so that I can go ahead and flat iron the hair. It's no special way that I'm flat ironing this because it doesn't have any special curls besides in the bang area. All you want to do is go down the hair straight down. Don't put too much of a bend on it. And I'm going to be using my Ion One Stroke Flat Irons, one inch. 
So yeah, take your time and do this so that you can get a straight flat iron when you pass it through because you do not put a bend on it because it won't look, you know, you want it to, to have a slight bend, very, very slight. Now I will be going in with my TG wax stick and this is going to help lay down the frizz. Okay, so normally I will go in and put my layers in and then curl it, but I'm going to go ahead and curl it like this because there are so many different lengths of hair in this, like literally because all I did was piece different lengths together because I was trying to use all of the hair that I had in the salon. But all you have to do is just curl it, put a slight bump in it. You don't want to bump it too hard, then it doesn't really flow how you want it to. But after I do this, then I will go in and cut my layers. After you're done, this is how your unit is going to look. Cause all you have to do now is cut your cap from underneath the lace. Just flip your cap inside out, take the scissors and cut it. Make sure that you're cutting the cap and not the lace. So be careful when you're going around where the stitching is because sometimes you could cut into your thread. So be careful when you're doing this. So right here, I'm, I popped the unit on my head and this is not an official install because I'm not going to wear this right now. But when you put it on, cause I did this so that I, so that I could cut the lace and I know where it's at. So I'm showing you the cap that I have on underneath is showing through. So all you got to do, if, you have, if you're gonna put on a cap, you wanna have to take your makeup and blend in the makeup to the cap. And I know this isn't the best angle, but I tried to show you guys the best way I can and look in the mirror and record at the same time. But you can see me putting the makeup to my cap. So literally right now, all I'm going to do is take my eyebrow archer and try to cut this lace off the best way that I can. I'm trying to to be able to show you guys this step, but you know, if you've been working with lace before, it's not really hard. You want to use a razor just so that it doesn't have a straight, straight edge on it and that, that it blends. And I put this down with holding spray because this is temporary. I'm just doing it for the video. And then I'm going to even up my sideburns and I'm trying to take my time and do this so that I don't mess it up. But I put it down with holding spray and you can go back and try to detail this as much as you can, but this is pretty much my progress. Now understand, if you do a proper install with the cap, lace glue, you will get the full effect. And what you'll do is you'll go back in and put more makeup in the parting area so that it pops and stand out. 